Hello everyone, I'm Fede Baronti and welcome to this new episode of the Desert Connection. How you doing? I hope that you're doing great because it's almost the weekend, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so we have some news and we have a new use case for you too. So let's get rolling with this news. Uh, the first news that we have is about service management, Jira service management for cloud. Uh, during the past weeks, they started rolling out the rich customer context. Let's see what it is about. Okay, this new rich customer context in Jira service management. Uh, it's all about dedicated profile pages for customers and organizations. That's pretty cool because you will get more information about your customers and the organizations that they work with. This is pretty nice. Uh, I've been working with Jira Service Management for a few years now and having some context and having the ability to do a few steps, uh, a few stuff, a few things that uh, this rich customer context can allow you to do. It's really good and it's, it empowers you and it provides you with more tools in order to provide a better customer service to your customer. It, this is really cool. So what will you be able to do? You will be able to create queues uh, and a new and new SLAs for high tier customers. Imagine that you have a high tier customers, a higher tier customers. You will be able to set those queues and new SLAs in order to provide better service. Um, imagine that if you have a dedicated account manager for uh, specific organizations, you can automatically as assign, automatically assign that person to those customers' tickets to provide a better service. That's pretty cool. And all that's done with the help of automation for Jira. Also, you will have, uh, you will be able to provide reports uh, in different uh, kind of industries across different industries. Imagine that you have uh, customers from different industries. Well, you will be able to assign and to create reports for those types of industries. This is really cool. It's um, it's amazing how they thought about this context for for the customers that you have, you know, and you will be able to add more information to those uh, Jira service management tickets, you know, and provide a better customer support, which is what we're talking about right here. We, I, I really, I really like, and I'm really looking forward to see what are the possibilities uh, with this. This is available right now in premium and enterprise uh, uh, plans in Jira service management cloud so if you're in one of those please go ahead and check it out uh, and if you want more information about that don't worry because we'll provide the link in the video description so don't worry about that uh, i hope that this is helpful and let's see what we have in store for the use case let's go back so for today's use case we wanted to talk about migration from server to cloud so one of the main apps or the main tools that Alassian provides is the Jira cloud migration assistant which is a really useful tool you know and it's really easy to to use uh, let's see let's see how it works okay we're gonna try to migrate uh, Jira information and Jira data project data into Jira Cloud and also project track information into Jira Cloud. Let's go and check it out. So right here we have the Jira migration ho uh, assistant home. Uh, it's really easy, it's really intuitive. Uh, you just need uh, three steps in order to prepare for the migration. You need to assess your apps, see which apps from server you want in cloud you need to prepare the apps you need to to agree with the license uh, with the license that that uh, these third party apps have in order to migrate from server to cloud and then you have the migrate your data uh, you know that's the actual action 
to migrate. Uh, we want to migrate some projects uh, and we will want to migrate uh, project track information. So if we go to the cloud uh, instance that we have right here, uh, we can see that we have already uh, five uh, projects in this instance. We also have those projects in server, but we are going to try to migrate a few more projects into this instance. Okay, just follow me. We go back to the Jira Cloud Migration Systems into our server instance. And uh, as soon as we hit the button, we have the, the how it works. Uh, it's a quick uh, view, a quick, uh, how you say, a quick guide in order for you to know what are going to be the, the following steps. So uh, we just need to choose the name, the Dacer Connection Migration maybe we're going to choose number two because uh, first one is already taken and this name is already available so we choose migration and we're going to choose to uh, to be choosing what to migrate so we can choose to migrate the apps uh, information so if we choose what to migrate we just have here what we need to migrate uh, since we don't have advanced roadmaps we're going to skip the plans. We're going to select the projects like, for example, the Dragon Ball, Isometric Apps, One Piece and Project One. And we're going to add them to the migration. Then uh, we're going to choose all users and groups from the Jira directory and preserve the group membership from one instance to the other one. So if we add that one to the migration, the, we're going to be good to go with the users section. Then since we're not migrating Jira service man management, we're going to choose no customers because we don't have customers right here in this instance. So we apply the changes and then we need to choose the app. We have one app marked as needed in cloud with the Jira migration assistant in the migration path, which is project track. So if we apply the changes, we will see that the app will be loading and one app has been marked as needed in cloud and has been added to the migration path. So right now we need to check some errors. There's a few warnings because of some users. You may exceed the limit. Some, grouper, some groups may already exist and you may exceed your limit for agents. Since we don't have Jira service management right here, uh, I'm not worried about this. Uh, these these warnings so we're going to continue with the review in our migration so we have these groups and users we have four projects that we want to migrate and we have the information from project track so if we run the migration the migration and we view the details the migration should be uh, should be started and should start uh, exporting and migrating the data right now we can see that it has already started, so we'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant just let us know that the migration has been completed. Everything is 100%, everything is completed, so let's go and check out the cloud instance. So if we refresh this page, we will see that we have four more projects and we have all the information that we had in the other projects uh, in server so right now not only the information but also we have the layouts and the information inside the layout like the methodology you know and the country so if we go back to the project navigator we will see that we will be able to change the information in those projects really easily and right after the projects have been migrated and the information for project track has been migrated so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i hope that this was useful so let's go back here i again i hope that this was useful and please let us know what you think about this uh, if you have any questions about it do not hesitate to let us know 
Don't worry about any single thing. Don't worry a bit about a thing because every little thing will be explained in the descriptions. Every little thing will be linked uh, to uh, the information that you need to have in order to have a successful migration from server to cloud. Uh, we know that right now migration is a hot topic and we know that sometimes uh, you need to decide and you need to take actions into it and we just wanted to show you that the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant is there for you and it's really, it's kind of easy to migrate. You need to assess your apps, you need to assess your information, but it should be one of the easiest way, ways to migrate your information. So please do not hesitate to let us know what you think about this. And if you have any feedback, uh, also do not hesitate to, to let us know. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for being there. I hope that you have fun. I hope that this information helped and hope to see you next week because ne next week we'll have a really cool and really interesting special episode of the Dacer Connection because we will record the Dacer Connection from uh, Budapest, from the Meta Inf Atlassian Day 2023. We'll see friends, we'll see uh, potential new clients, we'll, we'll chat with them and, and we'll see what news we can share with you right here in this uh, vlog that we decided to go the day cell connection so hope to see you next week thank you very much for being there bye bye